Alright you Lucha Libre loving zombie obsessed basement dwellers, boy do I have one for you. Today I'm talking about 2003's Enter Zombie King, aka Zombie Beach Party. Now this is a poster that sucks you in. It kind of reminds me of the haunted world of El Superbisto, and no, it's not a cartoon. This is a live action, low budget, mass wrestler on zombie filled horror movie. Horror movie. I understand you're going to be dead within two minutes. The IMDB description is as followed. Ulysses, as a professional wrestler, is going to watch another fight in which a wrestler is up against a horde of zombies. One of the zombies kills a waitress, and Ulysses and his friends decide to take matters into their own hands and track down the origins of the creatures. This film posits a world where not only are mass wrestlers commonplace, accepted, and in all aspects of life, but also zombies are real and roaming around. Ulysses is such a quirky, odd character. He has this juxtaposition of being this big meathead, but he also spouts off all these proverbs. He's definitely a guy capable of crushing in your skull, but he has a moral code, and he has the respect of all those around him from being this top-tier wrestler. Crap. It's, it's Ulysses. He and a core group of friends take on a zombie horde armed with only their wrestling moves. This isn't just an A to B zombie fight film. They inject humor, plot twists, backstories, and misdirections in this ambitious film. Oh, thank you. The tone fits somewhere between a backyard wrestling match and an episode of Power Rangers in a good way. Yeah! The sheer curiosity of what am I watching was enough to carry my interest through this film. I won't say they nailed everything they were trying to go for in this film, but I will say it's original. And nowadays, that's almost enough. This is the director of Stacey Case's only film, and that almost makes it more interesting. Hey guys, me in the editing room. Speaking of interesting, the bad guy in this was originally going to be George A. Romero. What? Back to the movie. This is short, sweet, and to the point. It's an hour and 16 minutes. I should have known drugs had something to do with this. So if you fall into the center of this three-part Venn diagram of wrestling, low-budget movies, and zombies, this movie's for you. If you don't at least hit two out of those three, you're gonna hate this movie. So that's my thoughts on this. So if you've seen it, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and as always, fuck off. Just daggers, you know that he's the sharpest in the shed with content, so killer that he left them all for dead. Yeah, cause like I said, no, he don't do this just for fun. And never stop until the top because he's going number one. Just daggers, always cutting through the competition. Everybody listen, homie, he came up here on a mission. Got him wishing that he could take a break to stunt. But the point's to stay sharp, ne never go blunt. Just daggers, 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 just daggers. Just daggers, just daggers, just daggers, just daggers.